Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the parameter is incorrect. So whenever you launch any Microsoft store application or games on your Windows computer, and if you're receiving this error, which says the parameter is incorrect, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run store troubleshooter for this. Go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security, and then click on troubleshoot. If you have Windows 11 then click on system then you will see the troubleshoot options click on troubleshoot now click on other troubleshooters or additional troubleshooters now scroll down here you can see windows store apps click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then try to launch the application or game now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box click on ws reset now you will see this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now you can launch Microsoft Store apps or you can launch the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset application or game. So whichever application is giving you the error message, you can go ahead and repair or reset that application. Or if you are receiving this error message while launching the game, then you can repair or reset the game. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to apps and then click on apps and features. Now find the application which, which is giving you the error message or you can find the game which is giving you the error message. Select that particular application or game. This is just an example. So click on that application or games. This is Microsoft Store apps. So I will show you for Microsoft Store apps. Click on it. Click on the game or application which is giving you the error message and click on these three dots or in Windows 10, simply click on the application and then you will see the advanced options. So in Windows 11, click over here, then click on advanced options. Now scroll down, here you can see the repair options, so click on repair. And after the repair, try to launch the application or game. If that does not work, then click on reset, reset. And after the reset, try to launch the game or application. Now, if you are receiving this error message with Microsoft Office application, in that case, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Click on uninstall a program. Now find Microsoft Office in the list and then select it and then click on change or you can simply make a right click then click on change and click on yes to allow and then click on put a check on quick repair and then click on repair and after the repair, try to launch the office. If that does not work, you can go for online repair. But when you do an online repair, it will uninstall and reinstall office. So make sure that uh, you are ready to uninstall and reinstall office when you go for online repair. So try quick repair first and then try to launch office application. Now the next step is to rename Windows apps and WP system. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer. Go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now, so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties. Go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here. Everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal now type in every one once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok ok so now you can rename it make a right click then click on rename rename it as wp system dot old now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again open file explorer and then go to this pc open d drive then make a right click on windows apps and rename it now before rename you have to take the ownership make a right click then click on properties go to security tab advanced now click on change over here type in everyone in the box 
Now click on check names, then click on OK. Now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects, and then click on apply. OK. OK. Again, OK. Again, make a right click on Windows apps, select properties, security tab, advanced, and this time click on add. Select a principal, everyone, check names, OK, put a check on the box which says full control, OK, apply, OK, OK, now make a right click on Windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as Windows apps dot old. Now while renaming it, if you receive any kind of error message which says file is open, in that case, open task manager on your computer. Make a right click on the start menu, click on task manager. Now if you find gaming services, make a right click and then click on end task. And also open services over here. And then go to services and find gaming services. Make a right click on gaming services, click on stop. So in my case, it's not running. So let me go ahead and yeah. So make a right click then click on stop. Again make a right click and then click on stop. Make sure gaming services is not running and then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old. Once the rename is done make a right click and then start the service. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall that particular application or game. So whichever application is giving you the error message, uninstall and reinstall that application or game. So to uninstall, you can type in the name of the application. So this is just an example. So you can in the window search box, you can type the name of that application. This is just an example. I'm, for example, I'm using Instagram. So make a right click, then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open Microsoft Store and then try to install the application from Microsoft Store once again and then check. Now, if you are receiving this error message with the game, then try to uninstall and reinstall that game. Now, the next step is to try installing the apps to different drive or C drive. So, you can go to Start menu, then click on Settings. Now, go to System. Now, scroll down, click on Storage. Scroll down click on advanced storage settings and then click on where new content is saved. Now try to change the drive. So first of all, uninstall that application or game. Once the uninstall is done, restart your computer and then try to change the drive from here. So click over here, select your external drive. If you're using, if you're, if the game or game or application is installed in C drive, then you can try installing it to D drive, change the location to D drive or some other external drive and then click on apply and then try to install the game or application. Now, if the game or application is already installed in D drive, then uninstall it, restart your computer and then change the drive to C drive, click on apply and then try to install the game or application. So try installing the application to different drive. Now the next step is to create a new Windows admin account. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to accounts. Now click on family and other users now click on add an account add account now click on i don't have this person sign in information now click on add a user without a microsoft account now you can create a new account so you can name it whatever you want and this is just an example. You can enter the password. You can answer the security questions. So this is just an example. You can answer the security question, whatever you want. Now click on next. And once the account is created, click on it. And then click on change account type and then select administrator over here and then click on OK and now try to log in to the new account. So click over here and you can sign out 
or you can select the new account, click on it, enter the password, login, and then try to launch the game or application. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. For this, go to this location. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive, then open Users folder, and then open your username folder, and then open App Data. If you don't see the App Data, click on View, and select Show, and then put a check on Hidden Items. Now in Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will find View options. So click on View, and then put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store folder. Here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and over here you will find local cache folder. Make a right click then click on delete. Now restart your computer and then try to open that application or game. Now the next step is to repair and reset Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So type in store in Windows search box, make a right click on Microsoft Store, then click on app settings. And then scroll down here, you can see the repair option. So click on repair. After the repair, try to launch the game or application. Now, if that does not work, click on reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, try to open that Microsoft Store apps or application or games. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. This is for game users. So if you have installed any game from Microsoft Store or Xbox app, you can uninstall and reinstall gaming services. For this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Once done, run the second command. So copy this command. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. Now this will open Microsoft Store. And over here you will find gaming services and you will see the install option. So click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, once the gaming service is installed, now try to launch the game. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app or Microsoft Store. So for this, type in Xbox app, make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall, uninstall. After the uninstall, restart your computer, reinstall the Xbox app from Microsoft Store. And then once you install Xbox app, now you, you can try to launch the game. Now do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So to uninstall Microsoft Store, type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy this command. Copy this first command. This command is provided in the video description. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. Now, once the store is uninstalled, restart your computer. Now, after the system restart, again, type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. And then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, paste the second command. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. Paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once done, now open Microsoft Store. Now you can try to launch the game or application. Now the next step is to run this PowerShell command. So copy this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste this command, hit the enter key. This will install all the default Windows apps. So let the process complete. This process will take some time. During this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now, once done, close this window. Now open the app or application. Now the next step is to update Microsoft Store apps and update Windows. So to update Microsoft Store apps, open Microsoft Store on your computer. On the bottom left here, you can see library options. So click on library. Now on the top right here, you can see get updates option. So click on get updates. 
once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game or application. Now the last step is to update Windows to the latest version using Media Creation Tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11, click on next. It will check for update, then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install, and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So, one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error when launching any Microsoft Store apps or game on your Windows computer. So, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.